once in a while. Jody, I, I'm, I'm really confused. I, maybe I did have a wrong picture of you. You know, all of this time that you and I have been talking, and I got information from your other interview. You are talking about insignificant things at this point. You're talking about money. You're talking about material things. You're, you're talking about everything, but. I'm just telling you're you talking about, about just, just people I care about. You're talking about everything but how bad you feel about Travis. You only respond to my questions. If I were Travis, about I would Travis. be very remorseful. I think that I, I've gotten the wrong picture of you. I think that, you know, you know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe maybe you are that cold blooded person um, that they're trying to portray and um, you know, I'm just really confused. I just, at this point, you know, I, maybe you're right. Maybe there isn't anything that you can do to help yourself. Um, you know, I, maybe I was wrong. Maybe you're not as intelligent as I thought you were. Maybe I was wrong. What do you think should happen to the person that murdered Travis. 
Um, you know, I've never been one for um, an eye for an eye, but they took his life. And even the Book of Mormon says that um, that 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 calls for the life of the person that took his life. Do you think that's the path that you're going down right now, and it's inevitable? So why fight it? Um, I'm not sure, kind of, but I'm not sure. I don't know where I'm going. So, tell me this. After looking at all the evidence, and what I think is crystal clear, if you didn't kill Travis, then who did? I, he was private about a lot of aspects of his life. Mm -hmm. He told me some things. Um, some things I got from some of his, you know, Facebook account, email account, or MySpace or whatever, because I had the passwords to those. Um, but I don't know, like, he would get, occasionally he would get solicitations, but it, and he would always respond, not to answer the solicitation, but to kind of call the person out. And I don't know if anything ever came of those. Um, I don't know. I know his tires were slashed. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you weren't the person that did it. Maybe. Maybe you just were physically there when it happened and somebody else did it. I mean, I guess, you know, that's a possibility. If that's the case, you know, help us out here. Help yourself out. You know, I, I don't know what else to, to do for you here, Jody. I'm kind of at the end of, of my rope. I was, <laughs> you're not going to get a whole lot of people that are trying to help you out along the way um, beyond this point. If you didn't do it, then who did because everything is pointing to you not just pointing to you but you know screaming that Jody killed Travis and I thought that I could come in here and talk to you and talk some you know sense into you and get you to you know kind of help yourself out you don't need to help our case out you don't need to help their case out that's a slam dunk And what I'm hearing is somebody who doesn't give a rip about what happened. I'm hearing somebody that's worried about money, your appearance, everything about you. I don't hear anything about Travis unless you're specifically asked. How do you think that looks? <clears throat> listen. I, it's, I don't care so much No, about you me. listen. You, you are not grasping the reality here, Jody. You know, you're worried about wedding pictures and, you know, all this other stuff that is really insignificant. Listen, my life is over. Travis's life is over. I'm sorry about Travis. I didn't take his life. All right. Well, I guess I was wrong. The reason I cared about those other things is because those people still have lives, and I care about those people. And I just, they don't know where their stuff is, you know? I happen to be in possession of their stuff. So. All I know is all of the innocent people that I've talked to that have been accused of a crime don't act the way that you do. And you are acting like the, the person that I portrayed, the ugly, cold-blooded murderer, one of the options that I portrayed. That is how you're acting. There is nothing in your actions that would indicate to me that you're the victim of circumstance. And you're going to be sorry, you know, when you get down the road and, and uh, I agree. you'll probably be sorry that you didn't do the right thing. You have an opportunity to do something right here. I don't know what to tell you.
Show me that I wasn't wrong, Jody. Show me what's inside your heart and not what's on the exterior. Help me understand why it happened and that it wasn't cold and calculated and planned because that's how everything points right now. You owe that at least to Travis's family. Give them some closure. Because I know, just from working with all these families that have lost loved ones, that they're not struggling with who did it, they're struggling with why. That's what I've been struggling with. <laughs> do, you, do you not understand why you did it yourself, maybe? Is it something that, you know, is it a part of a view that um, came forth that you've never seen before? I don't know. I know Travis's family is struggling with why, and that would be the one thing that would give them closure. They may never like you, but I think that they would be appreciative of why their son's life was taken. You can't give them your son back, their son back, but you can at least give them the peace of mind as to why. I know if it was my child, that's what I would want. And I know that you're not a mother, but all women have those mothering instincts within them, and I think that you can understand that, what I'm saying. And that's why you're hanging your head right now. Was I off base, Jody? I can't imagine what it would be like to lose one of my brothers. Wouldn't you want to know why you lost one of your brothers? I've never met them, I can't speak for them, but I would bet, you know, my paycheck, that that's what they're wondering right now. And you can at least show that you have a soul, that you have a heart, that you understand that need in them, and do something for somebody else besides yourself. That's the least that you can do for them right now, is give them an answer. Tell them why. That's how you can control something that's happening in your life right now. 